out there, whatever your nationality, whatever your favourite game is, we hope it's football, Alan Gibson is about to appear on the very sofa forward slash stage. The sofa. The sofa. And Joe's on the other sofa. We don't say the in Japan, do we? Do we? I'm not sure, because I don't speak Japanese fluently like you do. Z. Jose say Z. What you're saying is there's no um, there's no the or at or whatever. Yeah, you know? There's no um, I should know the word article. There's, there's no, no article. There's no article. No. Well, there's a few articles in the magazine. Yes, there were plenty of them. That was um, that was nicely dovetailed in. Good link. Quick, uh, well, quick Coca-Cola for the morning show. Wait a minute. Is this the very magazine I was looking at? I don't think so. This is not the very magazine I was going to test you on. I'll tell you what's coming up in this particular episode. I should of get one. Here. ESP, you, you tell just him talk him. over me, I would. <laughs> now I've lost my thread. Where's my thread? No, I'm, I'll, pull a th I'll pull a few threads if I want. If I want to, I will. Um, if I'll pull threads, if I want. Oh, we're not allowed to sing, sorry about that. See, here I am going on talking by myself. I can hear lots of rattling and oh, scratching oh, oh. in the jiggle, background. Jiggle, jiggle. It's like being in a studio with a huge hamster who's, um, who's trying to make his bed. But here he is, returning. This is the magazine Joe wants to talk about today, that apparently. That is the very magazine. Which is actually issue seven from a couple of months back. Because we did cover this in the previous episode. You what know what, Joe? We have, this is not rehearsed at all, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. As you can tell. But I'd like to give this uh, PDF away to anybody who wants it. Okay, we'll worry about well, that later. Yeah, okay. What, what about... Do you remember the question I set last time and no one knew the answer? Also, do you remember, you don't even remember the question about, about who... It's not a very Japanese question, but who... Who wrote numbers on the back of their shirts in a World Cup with the felt tip pen? You might you might want to call it an indelible marker. Yes. But some African team did it, and I'll give you a clue. I think it was either Cameroon or Senegal, but I don't know which. So no, somebody no, should have that question. All right, come up with better. Because it's just a question. It was either Cameroon or Senegal. I know. So, so it's one to choice, which is what what you're going to give how me. How about later. how about anyone who sees this video and tells us who is on the cover of this magazine? <laughs> We won't mention his name till later, so you have to watch the rest of the video. Who is on the cover of this magazine? And then drop me an email at alan at jsoccer.com, A-L-A-N at jsoccer.com. And so you did cover up the... Oh, the I, didn't, I didn't cover up. Okay, well, whatever, you know, <laughs> <laughs> take two. No. <laughs> alan at jsoccer.com, tell us what this guy's name is, and uh, tell PDF. me you want a PDF. Oh, and yes. I, and of course, if you want a, an actual magazine, well, drop me the mail anyway, and we'll work something out. Maybe free postage worldwide, how about that? Am I generous today or what? Oh, yes, you're very generous. Sorry, let's get on with this. But um, how good are you at quizzes? Quiz. It's well, quiz time. It's quiz time. Am I going to give I'm, you a quiz You're first? going to give me a quiz. Well, is that going to happen first? And then we're going to have, at the end of this, we're going to have who was the best predictor in the J-Soccer magazine. Oh, so yes. far. I, like I mean, of course, it's not a done deal yet, but we're halfway through and, and we can make some conclusions, right? But first, do you want to quiz me or do yes, I quiz you? Yes, Joe has right. asked me to quiz him and I'm going to do this in... And I'm going to struggle, so... And I'm going to do this in Feel like, free to help me. In like... Um, um, perfect, what do you say, weatherman mode, where I'm going to say, well, these shirts behind me, without yeah. actually looking at the shirts, is that good? Yeah. These shirts right. behind me, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, uh, these shirts behind no, me. That one looks like it's had a bit of meatball sauce on it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to sit down. So, Joe. So, the, the one with meatball sauce is the Kanzu shirt. Who am I talking about? Right. Which yeah. shirt on the wall? And there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only about 12 or 13 to choose from. That's quite a lot to choose so from. So I'm going to make it really easy. I'm going to tick them off. You're only allowed to give them. I've got to give you an easy one first. Yeah, give me Which an easy of one. these players is yeah. allegedly, yes. if their teams can work it out and stop playing poker with each other, moving to AC Milan? Well, my first thought is Hiyotaki. Ah! You're really out of touch, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. AC Milan, out of those lot. Yeah. He's terrible, isn't he? Yes, I am. I'm not very I thought good. that was the easy but one. It's obviously not going to be casual, is it? It's, and I'll give you, it's not in a motto either. It's not, thanks very much for that. Nakamura. It's getting Show. worse. <laughs> Let me give you, a, give you a little clue here. <laughs> oh, Honda. Honda, yeah. Thank one, you. One, one point to Joe. Get one finger. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? But that was the easy one, because. But of course, I was going to say it's all over the press, but it's probably not all over the European no, press. No, it's not. At it's all. all over the Italian press. So it's all right, over I'll the Japanese press. I'll go right down. Press. An AC Milan to be. Is that a definite done deal? It's a definite thinking about it. Yeah. Apparently, uh, actually, you know, a quick chance to talk about Honda, but I've mentioned it on jsoccer.com for, for about the last 
well, six months probably, actually, but certainly over the last month or so. Honda has basically uh, said he wants to play for Milan, he wants to get away. Milan have said, okay, we'll have you. And Ceska, as we call it over here, Ceska Moscow, mm. have basically thought, okay, we want a bit more money. Mm. Now, they're talking like 10 million euros now. Mm. And um, Milan are saying, no, we'll wait till January and have him for nothing. So now it's like, oh, Ceska will play him in the uh, Champions League then, so he's cup tied. Mm. And then boom, 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 boom. So they're like, well, we don't need him in the Champions League till next season anyway. We'll take him for free in January. So, you know, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. So you don't see him going to the UK then? Um, well, the, the rumoured, believe it or not, the rumour is that Ceska are saying, well, lots of other teams have already offered us 10 million euros. So Milan, mm. you know, go do whatever you say yeah. you do. And the rumour is Everton. Everton? Everton. Mm. Seven million was the latest offer from Everton, apparently. Seven million prunes. Seven million uh, Scottish managers. <laughs> Except now he's uh, Martinez. He's, uh, you know, yeah, he's, that's, uh, so he's going to play pay in pesetas. So anyway, pesetas don't exist anymore. I know, right? but I'm just oh, testing on. you. And he's not Spanish either, is he? Um, I think he is, actually. I thought he was like like you know, German or something, but with a funny name. Oh, right. Well, there are a few Martin Mezzies. Don't mention the one. <laughs> so, who's next? That was the easy one. Right. All right. Who who played for point, who played for both Fulham and West Bromwich Albion? I know the answer. Inamoto. Yay! So, yeah, there's a, that's, that's a genuine tick for me. Okay, here's one. Again, uh, it's like all over the Japanese press, of course, because he's doing very well. But you probably don't know about him in England. You're probably right. Who is currently a superstar in Australia in the oh, A League? Of those boys up there. I really don't. I haven't got. I haven't got um I haven't got a clue. clue. Oh no. Oh no, Joey. Haven't got, just... I haven't got a Scooby on this one. Oh no. Um Oh no. Oh no, yes! <laughs> Good one. Yeah. So, I, I wasn't actually gonna guess that. And then I said, I was thinking, I'm gonna guess that. I know you don't believe me. Uh, was, oh no. Oh, no. It was a guess. Oh no, it was a bit I obvious, I really, Even before you said oh no, I was thinking thinking that. Which of those players above me went to Europe and played in Germany? And has recently returned and scored two goals in his re re debut. Mm, Nakamura. Uh, uh. Oh, I mean, no. when I say recently, I mean like in the last month or even last week was when he actually scored the goals. I uh, know. Usami. Usami. Yes. So I'm giving myself all ticks here, but really, okay. Don't, here's don't a, a here's a, an easy one if you're a Leeds fan, but otherwise, who recently played? in a game, mm. I mean, and I'm talking like a couple of days ago, in which Leeds United lost 2-0 unfriendly. He played in a game against Leeds? He did indeed. Oh, in a friendly game? <laughs> this is really tough. Really tough. He had that game. Oh, yes. Well, did, you, did, you, did you watch that? Did you no, no, point I didn't, but I roughly saw that you pointed in the vicinity <laughs> of that shirt. So. Yep, Nuremberg beat Leeds United 2-0 this week. Uh, Kiyotake provided an assist, okay. apparently. I shouldn't. Although I'm I, don't really like it, I don't deserve a tick at all for that one. I, I really... How about who's Sweet. the other number thirteen on the wall behind us? Oh, I'm not going to look because that would be cheating. Um, I keep on saying Nakamura to everything, and you can't look behind because you still won't know his name. Oh wow! So what? There's Michi. Ah, but who is Michi and who does he play for? Trick question. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's sure Yasuda. Like that. That's Yasuda Michihiro. That's oh. a Gamba shirt from the Champions League a few years back. Uh, he's been released by his team, and his team are, you know, I should give you a clue. Um, if you ask Gordon Strachan, can I have a quick word, Gordon? What would you say? Vites. <laughs> can I have a quick word, Gordon? Uh, he's just been released by his team, and he's uh, looking for a new team, and he's on a free transfer. I reckon someone like Reading mm, would, actually, would actually suit him nicely. How old is he? He's about 24 or 5 now. Yeah, you know why Reading would suit? Because I think we've got a Yosushi in the area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that helps. That that's helps why the they're looking at. You see? That's why they're looking at 194 centimetre having a mic too. Did you know that? No, I know. Reading are investigating, and you know when you, when you see, I'm sure we've got your shirt around here somewhere because you know we've got loads of shirts. 194 centimetre having a mic. I'll just pop over here, shall I? Mm. And you're on about a microphone. That, did you say a mic? Mic, mic having a. Ah, oh, mic having a. You see when when the Japanese. Press uh, well. No, when, when the commentators, when come, you know, Mike gets the ball, he always they always 
mention his height because he's a big lad. You know? Oh, I see. So they always say, Hyakakuji on centi have not mic. They never say, have not. Or yeah. mic. It's like, Hyakakuji on centi have not mic. 194 centimeter have not mic. You know? Six foot two, oh, eyes yeah. of blue. So we had a shirt made in that honor. Hmm. 194, have not mic. Yeah, let's have a look at the other side. There he is. Havana, Havana, Havana. And I, uh, I showed, that, I showed Mike. He had a very good laugh at that. He did. And uh, he was like, why? Oh, yeah. And he's like, uh -huh. yeah. Because, of course, he doesn't bother listening to his own big commentary. So I'm, there's the, we'll stick that in the corner there and see if it's slightly in picture. Right, so I definitely Ooh. didn't get a mark for that. He didn't get but a mark. Yasuda could be available on a free transfer, and you think Reading or somewhere else yep. where they sell really good sushi. Yeah. And you know they're selling good ramen in the UK now, apparently. I've just found that out today. Ramen, that. Oh, ramen. Yes. Yeah, ramen. It's actually, it's technically, it is ramen. ramen but yeah, exactly. It, ramen. it gets very confusing. But I'll get corrected when I'm right. But Coca-Cola likes to sponsor the Jay Sucker magazine, by the way. Please do. Okay, so any but more no questions? Or? Have, uh, who, who has been playing with Raul <laughs> in the Champions nice. League? Who's been playing with Raul in the Champions League? Surely, at some point, look at that. It's back in the day, right? Back in the day. Oh, shall we say last season, before Raul moved to uh, Al Sad? Well, it's got to be. It's got to be Nakamura. Ah, it's like Nakamura is the answer to every problem. Yeah, it is. Has, isn't it? I know Nakamura, Nakamura, Nakamura. Raul Don't you like that? played for Schalke last year. Did you know that? Schalke, but who? Um, you're not. You're not giving me the same. The same answer twice, are you? No, it's I against the that. rules. You are, aren't you? Miyamoto. Number 22? Where? Uchida, Schalke. He's not course. on my list! He's not on your Well, he's behind you. Yeah, but he's in the. He's in shop, okay. Alright. He's in shop. That's a, that's, a cheat, that's a cheating question, that one. Joe has actually suggested this quiz like about two minutes before we actually started this. Yeah, he's like, really oh, I said a quiz because I know them all. I did. I actually, no, he said I probably won't get I'm, any. And he's quite right. Yeah, yeah. No, I, actually, I've done a. I did get one first time, Give and I got I got one second time, and I got about two or three third time. I was about, I was about, I was about this thing. I was about. I think you should drop that actually okay. straight away. <laughs> I was about. What, if you're going to do that, which actually. one of these young lads <laughs> played in a trial game for West Ham under Ari Redknapp? <laughs> under Ari. Under Ari. Which of these? <laughs> I'd love to have heard Ari say their names as well. Yeah, <laughs> Ari. Right. So anyway, you cheated. Uchida is off the list. So, so which one of those boys actually went to West Ham and had a half and got injured and uh, didn't make it? And then Harry leaned out of his window and said, yeah, he's a good lad, but you know, he's been injured and uh, we probably can't take mm. him this time. Well, it might be, an, I'm just going to say for a joke, kind of, it's not that funny a joke, but in horror, because he probably thought he was signing an Irishman. From horror, perhaps? The answer is... Miyamoto. Miyamoto. You know, I would never have got that. Yeah, you, and uh, actually never. it was one of those things where it was just before the World Cup where he hadn't actually played uh, a lot of internationals. After that he was captain of Japan for 2002 and 2006. Yeah, yeah, of course. So he wouldn't have got a working permit anyway, mm. unless, you know, Harry's lawyers are as good as Arsenal's. So yeah. how, long, how long was he on trial for? About, About 45 minutes. Oh, as long as that. <laughs> he went, he went over for a few days training. He played in a practice game against Charlton Rings of Bell, I'm not sure. Mm. And uh, he got injured actually as well, which is a shame. So he only had a half. I love a half. But you'd think with his kind of attitude, he was an Albert Tatlock, Coronation Street. You're too young, haven't you? <laughs> I love a half. Are you sure that was Coronation Street? Oh, of course it was. Of course it was. Anyway, you're digressing again. But anyway, do you, do you really think he he would have uh, made? I personally think he had the qualities to yeah. make it in the UK. Most definitely in Premier League. Certainly, but he was tough. Mm. Quite a tough Japanese um, yeah. midfielder, right? Centre back actually, but you know, yeah, close enough. Close enough. Close enough. But didn't he? Didn't he come actually, out? Actually, has just finished his FIFA Masters degree. He spent a year in mm. Italy, Switzerland, and England, and he's come out with all sorts of qualifications. He's returning to Japan very soon because he was like, "Hello, I'm on the way back," mm. and uh, I think he's going to get uh, a job in the JFA or the J League, and I would think with a, a view to maybe coaching Japan. Who's that? So in ten years or so. Oh, yeah, the same, same man. The same man. Miyamoto. So uh, moving along, as they say. Was okay. he a tall centre back? He was quite no, short. No, he wasn't tall right? at all. He was quite short. See, this is one because he wasn't tall at all. Mm. Tall at all at all. A bit like Ihara. Um Because of that, I, I sort of thought he. <laughs> I really did. Okay. I thought deep lying. I thought he's defensive midfield. So Joe, which of those players up there? Well, that wasn't scored, a question. Right, has right. scored against England. 
Oh, wow. Hey, hey, which of those players are scoring against England Wembley? Remember, you cannot. Wembley? You cannot. And I'll give you a clue. Because Wait, I've already had Nakamura, right? Uh, yeah, no, have we haven't had Nakamura, right. and it's not Nakamura this time. Yeah, all right. So, so that's one out of the way. So I've only got a choice. It's either Nakata, it's Kazu, or it's Ihara. So I'm saying Ihara. Is the correct yeah, answer. Yeah, I guessed it. Yay. Actually, I kind of, it just rang a lot of bells for me. So did, so did Quasimodo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he scored in a 2-1 defeat to England at Wembley, uh, yonks ago. And, uh, yeah. I can't say I remember it clearly. It's just suddenly I thought, oh, England and Japan and still brackets with the goal scorer in. Still, still at the back there. Without, so uh, we've got three answers that I've not had questions which, for. Which of those two players, Nakata or Nakamura, mm. played for most teams in Italy? Nakata. Indeed, is the correct answer. In fact, Nakata plays for most teams in Italy. Monty python You've got around a bit there. So now I've got Ooh. two. Two left. Nakamura and Kazu. Well, you've got three left, actually. And Where's I'm not going to tell you which one. But you, which well, you've added another shirt. No. Right? Morimoto's on your list, isn't he? Oh, is he? Is he? Isn't he's he? not, no. Hey, he oh, said, yes, he is. He said Morimoto. No, Morimoto. No. I thought you said Morimoto um, was at West Ham. Where's Sam? No, it's Miyamoto. Oh, no. Miyamoto. He's See. just he's so ignorant, isn't he? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why have I ticked Miyamoto as well? It's, this test is a mess. Where's Morimoto? He's See, up there. There he is. And you haven't even crossed him off yet. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm Silly just, person. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so he's still, he's back <sighs> on the list. So, so um, maybe I had two questions on Miyamoto. Never mind. We'll, we'll review it later. So, who's the oldest player? Kevin. Ta-da! <laughs> 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 right, next question. Uh, See, I'm, I'm getting quite proud of myself. Now. Which I've of, got at least three right. Which of the ones uh, left are currently playing in an Arab country? Oh, well, it's got to be Mor Morimoto. Yeah, how did you get that? I don't how know. Unbelievable. The process of elimination, my dear Watson. Here's a good one, then. Which player of those left... <coughs> There's the only one. ...is... So famous for putting their ball through the window of a moving bus on Japanese television. It would be me if I was based here, but no, Nakamura. Nakamura is the correct answer. I didn't answer. know about that. That's a, that's a nice piece of trivia. It is, I'm but it's, that. it's you know it's not as good as it sounds because uh, if you look at the video, it, was, yeah. it seemed to have been made when the sun was in that position over there, mm. and then the bus came down. He put it through. You know, he kept mm. putting, you know, hitting the ball against the window or over the top. Oh, so you saw and these. by the time the sun was coming down, the ball went through the window. So yeah. we reckon they had about 50 goes for it, but of yeah. course it was edited to make it look like he only had three yeah. or four goes. Yes. And so I'm the ball came through. It. It. So oh yes, spotted it. Yes, so can you get these answers right? Oh no, is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Are we, you? say, are we going to check how badly you did on that? I got. I reckon I'm going to give myself a minimum of three, and if we've been generous, a maximum of. Some, no, I should just give myself three. I think. Three out of three like, out of how many? Twelve. Dear, dear. Something like that. Pathetic. Anyway, right, Maya, 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 Yoshida, Yoshida, Yoshida. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Maya Yoshida. What about him? So oh, yeah. now you just said it the way I said it in the first place. You corrected me, and now you've. Anyway, this guy, MY. It's the MY quiz, and you interviewed him, so you should know all the answers. If they were mentioned in the interview. Yes, if they were. If they're not taken out of his life. Oh, no, Wikipedia there's no page, little something. sneaky questions here. That was months ago, though. Yeah, I know, but we're testing your sort of semi long term memory, medium term memory. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Semi. I'm ready. Right, are you ready? There's only five I'm questions. Ready. I've got the page open. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No cheating. Right. What's he having trouble with? <laughs> That's a bit of a tough one. But it's, it comes in sort of chronological order. I'll give you that. That's I'm, your clue. I'm guessing it might be... Uh, I can't remember. Uh, the <laughs> various accents of the players. Of the You're quite right. Yeah, okay. One point. And he said, very well. I'm, I'm impressed. I have myself another Coke here, by the way. You deserve it. So, um, Coke Zero this time. Beautiful glass bottle. This is a yes no question, so I'm expecting you to get this. Was he pleased when Sheriff Hampton got rid of Nigel Atkins? I don't know why I'm doing that accent. I should do a Southampton accent, really. Or a Japanese accent. Right. Should, should I ask you in? Uh, well, do you think he was pleased when, when Southampton got rid of older, older um, Nigel? Oh, not at all, boy, not at all. No, mm -hmm. not at all. You would have yeah. preferred they got rid of that tractor. No oh, worry. Southampton, this is more interesting. Mm -hmm. Shaw's Norwich, isn't it? No, I live near Southampton. Oh, Southampton. Southampton. Quite near. I'd like to apologise to all people from Southampton on behalf of Joe. They don't all speak like that. Bad I mean, Craig David's from there, and he certainly doesn't speak like that. 
Who does he play for? Um, <laughs> I wonder. He could have played for a team, I reckon. Anyway, get on with let's it. Let's move on. Hundred percent. So far, but this is a. Who was his toughest opponent, in his opinion, and name the three qualities of this oh, toughest dear. opponent. Um, I think his qualities are biting, racism, and uh, ugly face. Yes. And it's Luis and Suarez. Luis Suarez is the correct answer. And the three qualities were what were his That's qualities? What said. That's what, what no, those are not qualities. Uh, is they're, they're not even attributes. I think he's strong and tough, and only the best is good enough. You don't the, sing around here, mate. It's the Milky Bar Kid. <laughs> you don't sing around here. Don't you remember the Milky Bar Kid? Get off strong. my land. Okay. Right. Um, strong. Um, um, I can't remember. Strong and tough and and nippy. You're oh, quite no. right about. The nippy bit, yes, because yeah, fast, yeah. I'll give you a point for that. And Strong. Sneaky. Yes! yes! Sneaky is the word Four that marks. Yoshida used the word sneaky, which I thought was a very good English word for him. He's Four marks. sneaky, he said, yeah. Well done so far. So that's um, think about a that. moment. Four marks, you know what that is? Lice lotion. You're going to get some lice lotion, then carry on like this, or we'll get I'm going to have a break. Have a keep cut. Right, which okay. other players also get honourable mentions? Honourable. Honourable. Yes, very honourable. Which other players also get honourable mentions? This is a tough one. There's three players. Oh, you mean uh, other players that you thought and really you should certainly get minimum two out of three here. Really? Are they mentioned on the door over there? Those, um, those no, three. put that down. Put that down. I'll, I will give you clues, though. I will give you clues if you if you insist. But I think I think you're going to know one of them. Oh, that's a tough one. Because one of them does play for one of your favourite teams. So that's Christian Benteke. Yes, that's one. Right, two more to go. And uh, they have both been in your sort of vicinity of late. So that's the only clue I'm going to give you. Uh, the you've other been, guy was... Uh, uh, been Rooney. No. And, Good guess, though. And uh, Van Persie. Yes, so one to go. And you're going to really kick yourself if you don't get this. I have, uh, you Kevin have. Phillips. Bong. <laughs> Not Kevin. Oh, come on, think yeah. harder. Oh, you looked up there. Is that a clue? Uh, Nakamura? No, no. <laughs> Actually, it could be a clue. Could be a clue. Could be a clue. Could be, clue. Yeah. Could be taken on. Oh, of course he, he did. Shinji, didn't he? Yes. He mentioned Shinji was Shinji a great. Shinji Kagawa. I thought I was thinking I'm starting of... to think you actually inserted that. He didn't say Shinji at all. He did. Yeah, he, he said did. Shinji's a Did you well, prompt him? When you did this interview, did you do any little prompting? Did you sort of, did you put the questions to him? Um, what other players would get an honourable mention, possibly Shinji? Did, I mean, how did you yeah, phrase yeah, the questions? Yeah, sure. I said, who do you, like you not like playing against? Or yeah. like, who, who, who do you admire? Blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. I was you know what's, kept it pretty you know what's you didn't really irritating? Talking questions. about loaded questions, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, there's a load of articles going around right, right now about, and they're just, it's not good press, you know? It's like, Shinji Kagawa intends to go back to Dortmund, and you yeah. know, Shinji Kagawa wants to go back to Dortmund. And this morning I read an article, Dortmund approached Shinji Kagawa. And it's, well, all, it's all just made up. It's like, well, Shinji, would you ever go back to Dortmund if they asked you? Well, of course I would. I don't yeah, want to upset them. Yeah, yeah. Of course I would go back to Shinji wants to go back to Dortmund. God, yeah. that's irritating. It is. And you do get a lot of that. Bad journalism. Yeah. But, but I digress. Kind of, Sorry. Especially when uh, when the transfer window's you know, reasonably quiet, which it has been, obviously, for Arsenal fans. It's been exceptionally quiet. So what's new? So but, anyway. By the way, when is the transfer window closed? It's the end of August, right? No, it actually continues on into September, I believe. Oh, because it's like Sunday or something? Yeah, something like that. So uh, yeah, it's either the first or second. Yeah, night, 31st, I think. Uh, according to my calendar on the yeah, wall over there, which is why I'm doing that. 31st is a Saturday, and the first right. so it's so probably second, the second. Second, second September, so midnight. You've got, you got loads of loads time. Loads of time, yeah. but I want easily. them to jail. I want jail. Well, you could yeah. Yeah, to and go not, with the live treatment. Yeah, yeah, with the live treatment. Live treatment gel, it does work. Right, finally, does this one work? What? I'm going to get it right. What? Is it about English referees that makes the Premier League difficult? Difficult question. What is it about English referees that makes the Premier League difficult? I've sort of phrased that in a in a kind of snidey, sneaky way. They're all a bit so good. Louis Suarez ish. They're all so good. <laughs> Have a think about it a bit more. You, I, I sort of inconsistent. You know, I kind of expected you to different. Get it. They're inconsistent. Not I quite. Think. Not quite. What? What? What would normally happen? What what would normally happen when when a, when a foul happens, for instance, in Holland or Japan? The whistle goes. Mm. And what doesn't happen in the Premier League? They don't blow the whistle. Yes. He says they don't blow the whistle enough. 
That kind of thing, yeah. He said, he said, they don't stop the game enough. That's right, he did, didn't he? And that so they never surprising. get their breath back, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Into it. He doesn't say that, but... I've had a few Japanese players say that yeah. to me, you know. What, the, you don't I, whistle enough, you just let play go on, which is what we all like. The right? managers love me. Mm. Yeah. When I when I referee the J-League practice games, and I'm not talking about J-League, mm. um, especially the foreign managers that have been over here, Stuart Baxter, yeah. Ivan Hasek, these guys, they love my refereeing because I let the play run and run and the players are like, foul, 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 whistle, what's going on? <laughs> Stop yeah, the game. Yeah, the worst play. thing of all. I'm surprised Japanese players like it. So generally speaking, Japanese players, they, is it because they want a breather or is it, no, I think, is it they yeah. want protection? I think most players want protection, don't they? Yeah. So, that's another probably a good chance for an advertisement there. But yeah, I know. <clears throat> well, we want a lot, of, a lot of money for that because, you know, we'd have to put a different rating on it. We would, wouldn't we? Yeah. So, so let's get down to rating our predictors. Yeah, Who is the best predictor of those J-League predictors? So got one I've, I've got my own one, so I've got I'm, one, I'm yeah. pleased about that. So and then uh, we'll, we'll ask the question, which is more predictable? I think I know the answer to this. The J-1 League or the J-2 League? Apparently, so, Joe has looked at the uh, all the predictions. I in, didn't look in, in detail, magazine. but none of them. We had this article called Future Perfect. and uh, of, it's, a, it's a great piece. I love a lot of, A lot of people predicted the J1 and J2, top three, top six, relegations, etc. And um, Joe, I haven't, even, I, I haven't even looked at it since then because I don't want to, you know, I just find it people's egos or have a go at them. But there's going to be a bit of both going but, on. Um, here, so just well, to warn you. Sean Carroll, Ben Mabley, Barry Valder, Stuart right, you've Smith, got to give them Mario Kawata, Dan Olivitz, Ben oh. Maxwell, Steve Baum, Thiago Bontempo, Mike Plasto, Daniel Jones, the J-League blog. Sebastiano Meliu and Gamba Osaka Pride of Vincipa Osaka, to name a few, all sent in their predictions. So I rate them. I want one to five stars on each of them. Okay, we can give a separate rating for J1, J2. Right, so J1 champion. Right, Sean Car Carroll, he's predicted, well, obviously halfway through the season, but the way it stands at the moment, Kashiwa Race on top, Kashima and Azurua, Nagoya, uh, Kawasaki, obviously Nagoya not doing too well, Kawasaki Frontalian, the Gal to send Iris top six, and how, how many of them are in the top six? I don't Certainly know. Certainly Uruwa. I haven't looked since I haven't looked at the table, but I mean obvious ones that are doing well. I'd say three out of six there, but not in the right order. Yes. Frontale, Reds and Antlers are doing very well, but uh, yeah. Kashiwa Reysol, who are concentrating on the uh, ACL apparently, and Nagoya are mm. coming back. Sen Sendai have dropped out of it. Um, so what do you say? Two star. Oh wait a minute. Look at the relegation area. It's got Alberex down there. Wait, uh, Trinita, Shannon Bal Balmari. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, three out of the four teams that are going down, or well, four out of three mm. teams. What you know? Yeah. He's done all right. Yeah, to be honest, the, yeah, uh, the, the relegation, relegation is yeah. pretty much the same for everybody. Yeah. So maybe we should oh, ignore that. Except Mario Kawata has got Shimizu S Pulse down there. And oh, we're boy. Oh, Dan Olivitz has got Omir Ardija in relegation battle. Oh, who's got that? Dan Olivitz. Wow. Sorry. Sorry, you lose the point for that. Lo losing the point for Sorry. having Omir down in 16th place. Very naughty, Dan. Shouldn't have done that. Even though uh, they've got a very small, small, um, small what? I'm just... Uh, ground. Yeah, they do have a small <laughs> ground. I'm just looking to see if anyone else... Oh, so, and Sebastiano Merieu, who is a big Gamba fan, uh, and admittedly has got Cereso Osaka down in 16th place. Minus point for you, Sebastiano. Yes. Sorry, you said. And um, I'd say an automatic Vinci per Osaka, uh, who's also a Gamba fan, has got Cereso down in 16th as well, but that's probably intentionally, isn't it? Who's, who's done that boy. again? VPO. Vinci per Osaka. Mm. In the top right there. Oh, okay. But I digress, yeah. huh? But that's okay, probably so the best way to go out there, instead of giving yeah, you any right. visual okay. marks. Have all a right. look at Ben Mabel, he's got the Rara Reds as champions. They're falling away a bit, but they're still there. I think they are Race off Sendai in third, I don't think so. San Freche Hiroshima in fourth. They are they're pushing up. They're top, top now. now yeah. So um, everybody's um, put Nagoya Grampus um, up in the top six. I mean, I had a conversation with somebody up in um, Saitama, and they said Grampus are pretty much a rubbish team nowadays. And um, they pretty are a rubbish team these days. But I don't they, agree. They need with to it. change. They need to. What, what's their problem? What, what do you think the problem is? Tulio. No, come on. Tulio's a good player. Seriously, I have to disagree with you about that. Seriously, Tulio is the problem because they rely on him too much. Mm. You see how? You see how that's but, a compliment. Yeah, him. but do you think? Do you think they're? Um... But when they rely on him, mm. he goes AWOL. Mm. He's up in the attack when he shouldn't yeah. be, and he's not back in time. So well, basically, so Tulio is the problem, yeah. but also giving a solution. 10%. As well. Yeah, but is it the age of the players? They're not. They're not yeah, yeah, they are getting, Well, that's funny because they, they've got a lot of old aging players, but they've got a lot of youngsters mm. who came through last year and the year before that maybe mm. 
haven't had enough time or they're not quite ready and they've had a few injuries. Yeah. So um, they're not going anywhere this year. Do famous last word. Yeah. Do you think it's complete, complete nonsense to think they might even have a slight chance of a title challenge? Complete nonsense. And there's no way in this world. Has it ever happened before that a team sort of in the lower half of the table mounted a challenge? Done a bit of mounting. Well, it depends when they were in the bottom half of the table, I suppose. Yeah. Like, how about last year yeah. when we had Adija? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't think re- they've got a chance. They've got a chance. Let's move on. Ben Mabley, Reds, Racel, Sendai in third. Sorry, Ben. Yeah. San Fretchi in fourth. Well, at least he's got him in the top six there. Uh, Barry Valda, Reds on the top. Nagoya Grampus in second. You just lost yourself a point there, Barry. Yeah, for the Grampus. But San Fretchi, S. Pulse in fourth. Bit of favouritism there, don't yeah. you, uh, Sendai. <coughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, Stuart Smith. Well, he's a J2 only boy, so we will skip him for a moment. Yeah. Mario Kawata, Kashiwa Reiso number one, where our Reds number two, Kashi Mountain number three, FC Tokyo four, Jubilo Iwata in six. They're sixth. not doing so well, are they? Minus point there. But, yeah. you know, as we say, but he's, got, only he's got the Reds. Six. He's got the Reds up there. He's got the Reds in second place. Man to watch, Shinzo Koroki. There's a good one. Oh, the guys who've got player to watch, uh, Leandro. Well, that didn't work out because he's <laughs> already in Al Sad. Yeah. Uh, so back to Dan Olivitz. Oh no, he's. <laughs> I'm just looking at. He's got the big old Sendai toppers. Sorry, Dan, we're having to go. You stop laughing at him. Stop laughing at him. Yeah, but wait a second. He's got two. He's got two right. Oh, and he's got Sagan Tosu in third. Yeah. I never. I mean, I said as I said, I haven't looked at this since we published it. Yeah. Uh, we've got San, San Fretchi, Hiroshima, and Ura, Urawa Reds and Kashima Antlers. Uh, all three of those should finish in the top six. But then we've got Sendai, Sagan Tosu, and FC Tokyo. But Dan is an FC Tokyo fan. Uh, mm, yeah. Runs the Ice so Den Tokyo be, site. You mustn't be, um, you know, having So favorites. I'm going to have to give him a minus point for Sendai at number one and Sagantos at three and Omiya Adija in the relegation battle. So in J2, on the other hand, mm. he's got Gambro Saka on top. And he's got Jeff United, who could well Jeff United are surging third. forward, but Yokohama FC... No. Anyway, we're talking about Jason. He's only got Vissel. Diago Von Tempo over there in Brazil has got Kashima Antlers, Urawa Reds, Kashima Reisol, San Fretchi Hiroshima, Yokohama F Marinos. Is that the first time we've heard Oh, yeah, mentioned? that's the first one. We haven't even heard them mentioned. So, so he, the first, he should like, get bonus points because people. he's got, out of the top four, he's got, in his top six, he's one, got two, three. He's got five, to be honest. He's got yeah. Marinos, Hiroshima, uh, Reisol. You know. mm. Yeah, I think uh, Diago is probably... Top of the list so far, eh? Yeah, I agree. Steve Baum, as a fan of Omiya Adija, I have historically refrained from predicting the unfortunates. <laughs> um, so ba- basically he's saying that he didn't expect Omiya to do any good, so minus point for yeah, ha- not having confidence in your yeah, own team. Yeah, must have confidence. Kashiwa Rei Solura Reds, Kashima Antlers and San Fred Hiroshima are in his top six. FC mm. Tokyo, my dark horses to be honest before still. the season, oh, and yeah. they might yeah. even still be dark horses. Mm. But they go to Sendai, top three. <sighs> you almost lost your minus point there. Yeah? Ben Maxwell, <laughs> Rao Reds number one, San Fredchi Hiroshima number two, Kashima Reiso number three, Kashima Antlers number four, sneaked in FC Tokyo in the top six because he loves FC Tokyo. Yeah. Ben Maxwell is also the man un- behind the J Talk podcast, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, but he's got mm. Vigalta Sendai in mm. there. Well, you know, fifth place is not as bad as having them on top. So, uh-huh. And really, they could come back. So give him Mike Plasto, Kashiwa Reisol, San Fretchi, Hiroshima, Urawa Reds, a good top three there. They got to yeah, Sendai. Yeah, not bad at all. They got to Sendai, popped in the fourth there, but Frontale mm-hmm. in fifth. Not many of us, because I consider you boys part yeah. of my family. Um, I've got Kawasaki Frontale in their top six, and they're either going to be in, in the, even the top two or mm. three, or they're going to fade miserably in the second half. And is he is he the only one to put Jubilo Iwata down right down near the bottom? Uh, well, so far so well, average. Yes, I think he I deserves think. bonus points. Yeah, for an me. extra point for Mike for having Jubilo Iwata in 18th place. So is he is he uh, the top or is Tiago still top? Oh, hold on, 18th place. <laughs> Never mind. He's got them down there at the bottom. Mm. What do you think? Uh, yeah, bonus point for Mike. And that picture was taken by me, by the way. Really? Yeah, I'm his, I'm his official photographer. You know, I like I like the sort of tarot cards pictures in the background. They don't have any sort of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but do they have any sort of uh, hidden meanings? Uh, I don't think so, no. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, Dan's got the devil behind him. <laughs> I just noticed. I didn't notice that. That's unreal. I have no idea what my, my designer Sorry, just... It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it. I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, because oh, yeah, it's got horns I, on. I know my tarot cards, and that I, is the devil. I'm, I'm afraid you. I don't know tarot cards. Yeah, unfortunately, oh, I, I don't couple, know all of them, but I know There's a, a couple the same there. Does that mean there aren't actually many tarot cards? How many is in the deck? There's more than that. 
Because this is Sebastian a major arcana. I'm, I find it really interesting. Poor Ben mabley has got got a well, not poor at all. Ben's lucky enough to have a naked woman pouring water into into. Um, I don't know what it is. Is that a good thing? I mean, is uh, that a good card? I don't even know what what card that is. And, I've never and, seen and that image at it, before. Sean Carroll doesn't seem to have a card at all. Is that am I imagining it? No. Well, yeah. Sean's got no card that. Look, we can tell what it is. It looks like this like sort of faded like background. Are we digressing here? Right? We are slightly. But These I'm boys have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. Show, show them Dan. So Dan's is the best one. Dan, you know, that means apparently there are tarot cards. I never even, you know, tarot cards behind. I just leave it to my designer, Chris yeah. Fajala. Yeah, so so blame Chris. Don't blame us. I know we laughed. Where I'm were we? Sorry about that. Uh, Daniel Jones, top six were our reds, cash handlers, Vegalta Sendai. Kashima Racer, Yokohama from Reno, San Francisco, yes. Hiroshima. That's bonus points for that. I'd That's say true. five out of the six are in with a good chance, and mm. Daniel is close to Mike in the good stakes. Um, but he hasn't got Jeff, uh, sorry, uh, Jubilo at the bottom there, so. Yeah. The J League blog. Oh, uh, he's actually a, a French blog, but I, he's got Red, Sendai Antlers, Racer, Hiroshima, Jubilo, Iwata in the top six. Not good. Minus point. Not good. Sebastian Meru, I've just realised he's. I'm sure he's, uh, since I met him here a couple of weeks ago, yeah. I really should have an O on the end of your name. Sorry, Sebastian. Yes. My apologies. O apologies. Mes apologies. Reds, Marinos, Hiroshima, Antlers in the top four there, but Oita Trinita, mm. number six. Yeah. You know what? I know why, because his missus is from Kyushu. You know, so oh, got, okay. So he was probably, she was probably behind him saying, don't put Oita yeah. down there for you. Yeah. So, and Cerezo Osaka, 16th position. And Sendai in 17th, that's mm. a rather, and he actually mentions it too. Vigalta lost their momentum in the second half of last season and mm. kept losing it more and more. This will continue. Oh, will it? Will it? I don't mm. think they're going to be that bad, but we might have to give them an extra point at the end when they're yeah. down the bottom there. But Cereso, minus point for having them so low, how could you? Gambo Osaka Pride, another gentleman who's actually in this office uh, the last couple of weeks, has got antlers, reds, frontale, Hiroshima, Reisol in the top six, but he's got Sendai up there too. Maybe I'm going to give him third or fourth position out of this lot. And your uh, designer gave him the King of Staves, I believe. Is that the King Whatever of Whatever that's supposed to mean. The King of Staves. It's like a uh, King of Clubs. I have no idea so what So has he got a club in or not? No, I don't think he does actually. He right. can't afford it. You know, he's a poor student living in Norwich. Oh, really? He's got free Wi Fi all over the city, though. Yeah, exactly. So. And Vinci for Osaka. Club in an internet y sort of way. Reds, number one. S Pulse, number two. Marino's in the top, so he's got well, another guy who's got cool. that. And San Frecce and Antlers, but then Sendai at six, and he's got Cereso at 16. Why does he put Oh, because he's a Gamba fan. Yeah, so That's your, naughty. your heart has given you a minus point there. Yes, because you lost your head there. So I think, to be honest, in a very rough uh, look, Mike Plasto is uh, the, the winner so far there. Yeah. Daniel Jones and Gamba Osaka Pride coming in, uh, you know, giving him a little bit from behind. And the J2 expert, I mean, I thought, looking at it so very J2, briefly. So J2, Stuart Smith is a mega star. Well, yeah, Gamba so. 1, Vissel 2, Jeff 3. I mean, he's not, not going to get much better than that, are you? And in the, and the playoff teams, Kyoto Sanga, but then he spoils it a bit with Yokohama FC and Verdi. But, you know, there's plenty of time yeah, to go. But exactly. that top four there, I mean, that's very nice. Uh, look at that. Relegated, bottom place, Katala Toyama. That was a bit of a, a call because mm. they didn't do too bad last year, but now they're struggling at the bottom. Wow. So, Stuart, you are a J2 megastar. Yeah, he's the superstar, I think. No one's going to guess it more accurately than now, Stuart so, so we're not even going to bother looking so, at the others, are we? Because I don't think anyone can top that. I mean, I did have a brief look, and no one, no one got it quite as accurately. I mean, Gam ben Gamba Mabel Osaka Pride deserves an honourable mention. Ben Mabley mentioned. too, Gamba, Gamba Kyoto, Vissel, Jeff in the top four there, which is the way it's, you know, I don't, you know not too bad. So look at Gamba Osaka Pride. They've oh. got you know. Tokyo Verdi at number two for Barry Valda. Minus point mm. for you, sir. Uh, Gamba Osaka Pride. Gamba, Vissel, Jeff, Kyoto. Again, Yokohama and Tokyo in the fifth and sixth. Mm. So very level. Yeah. Uh, Vinci Osaka, Gamba, Sanga, Kobe, Jeff, Verdi, Okayama. Okayama were really good for a while, although they had a lot of draws. But now they've, they've dropped off a little bit. Mm. J-League blog. Consadore Sapporo in the sixth position. Ben Maxwell, Gamba. Oh, no, he's got Verdi in second. How can an FC Tokyo <laughs> fan even think about putting Verdi in second then? Mm. Ben, you yeah. lost yourself a point there. Dan has uh, Dan Olivitz, Gamba, Jeff, Yokohama in third. Oh, dear. But Vissel, Kyoto, and Jiravans Kitakushu. Mm -hmm. 
that's a bit of a rough one. Sixth place, I don't think they're going to, you know, they'll be lucky to come sixth from bottom. They lost the manager, they lost half the players, they haven't really gelled, but they do have a nice purple summer uniform shirt. Oh, that's so nice. it's like Kyoto's first team kit. I mean, yeah. home kit. Daniel Jones, maybe we should lo make, uh, make him lose a point for only giving us five. Yeah. <laughs> but, he did, but he did ask yeah. in advance. He said yeah. he uh, Steve Baum, Vissel, Gamba, Kyoto, Tochigi, Jeff in the top five, but Verdi are up there too. Seems a lot of our fans here. Even even our J1 champion has got Tokyo Verdi in second place in J2. So uh, I think uh, Stuart Smith wins the... Uh, yeah, well, of hands course, down, I think. Hey, he's the J2 expert, oh, and yeah. he's won out know, so far. So well, I'll tell you what, I mean, if I ever take up gambling, which I won't, but mm. if I ever do, Stuart's a guy I'm going to be talking to about where I should place my bets. Stuart, place your bets Stuart, now! Stuart is the man. He's an expert in every way, shape and form, judging by that. So, so well done Stuart and well done, who else won? Mike. Mike Plaster. Mike's another winner. Superstar. I don't know what, are you going to send him empty Coke bottles or something uh, like that? Yeah, or maybe I'll send him a Kit Kat or a Aquarius or something. And before we go, you might want to add something like uh, about your Twitter account? Or... Uh, well, Twitter is at J Soccer Magazine, J S O C C R, blah, 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 J Soccer Magazine, www.jsoccer.com. Did you know that? www.jsoccer.com. <laughs> Impressive. Alan at you can send me that email if you do want a PDF of this magazine. A L A N at J And don't forget the quiz question is who is that? The quiz question is that man on the front. Name oh. that man on the front. If you can name that man on the front, then you can have a free PDF of this magazine by yeah. mailing alan at jsoccer.com. So if what you just send question. me an email saying, my, I mean, uh, the guy's name on the front there. That's all you've got to do. Yeah. And then, so that. Of course, if people want the actual magazine, we can come to a deal. Anyone quoting this free postage? Yes. We'll Some work postage. it out. All you right. can get the magazine at jsoccer magazine, uh, jsoccer.com, of course, as well, on the ma magazine section. And uh, welcome to Reading, Mike Havana. That would uh -huh. be nice, I reckon. Be good. Yeah, well, that's, your, that's your tip, your transfer tip. Indeed. Uh, okay, okay, your turn. Well, it's time for me to go, and Alan's already gone, I think. He's switched off. You've switched yourself off, haven't you? I'm just, you yeah, know, okay. You're like a How robot, about? actually, because you've been in Japan a while. Good luck to Bando Ryuji, who has moved from Seres Osaka to Sagantosu mm. on loan. He's a great friend of mine. I love the guy, and hope he gets some time on the pitch. And what about uh, Kubo? Anything to say about him? Apparently, he's. Uh, Kubo or Okubo? No, not not Okubo. The guy, the guy at um, Kyoto. Kubo. Who was? Who was? Yeah, Kubo. Who was it? Well, Kyoto didn't Sunday? I tell you on this podcast about six months ago or even a year ago that he was going to Young Boys? Yes. Remember that? I think so. And he's at Young Boys. Yes. He is. And he scored two goals for him. When did that transfer go through? Because it went a bit under my radar. Sorry to say. Well. As I was saying to you, literally I, a even year, I was a year ago, was he was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I think. And I, would, I saw it on some uh, Swiss website. Well, literally a year. Oh, I which remember I used sending, you the links, sending you the links. Yeah. Well, last year it was rumoured, and I thought it was probably pre pre confirmed in some way or other mm. that he was going to join Young Boys in January, perhaps. But it didn't actually happen till July. Huh? This. But um, I think it was either a badly kept secret or I was really unlucky in my predictions. Yeah. But um, I think basically last year I, I said that he was going to go to Young Boys. And um, recently uh, my, uh, my uh, history, uh, my internet search history has got a lot of Young Boys on it too. So, yeah. so I have to be careful about that. Right, and after that accent you were putting on earlier, I think I'm definitely better stop it now. Until the next time, I'll, I'll say my own Twitter, should I? Joe Broadford. And ESPSoccer.com. We're approaching the camera now. Don't oh, be scared, but do do forget. Uh, do don't forget uh, where to tune in. It's right here.